this anger to vote against this wickedness. My wife, myself, my children, we are fully obedient. You know, I feel the pains that so many of us are going through now. I understand. Some of us are going through a lot of pain. Is that true? I saw a video of a lady rolling on the ground, crying that her children are dying, they cannot feed, no money. And my heart was broken. I feel very bad. Amen. One of the things I don't do anymore is to talk about politics. It's something I don't do. And it's deliberate. I don't talk about politics. And I will not. That's the truth. I can only encourage you. Are you listening? And advise you to do the right thing. And that's the truth. You know, hunger and all of that are not things that we are supposed to be going through. We have no business going through what we are going through now. What is happening now is Nigeria, 200 million Nigerians are suffering for two fighting. So, let me give you a short parable. Some years ago, several people came together from different parties, decided to come together to form one party to chase out one man. Huh? To chase out one man. It's a story. I heard it from him. I have this story from a madman. They came together that they want to stand by somebody. So all of them collapsed their structure and gave it to one man. They sponsored him with money that they kept at home. They didn't take the money from the bank. It was at home they kept it. They sponsored him. And on the inaugural day, the first thing the man said was that, I'm for everybody and I'm for no one. That should have told them that this is not a reliable person. This is, this is an ingrate. All of them came together again, supported him a second time. Not knowing that this person never had them in mind. Now the person came back and the first thing he said he wants is that they don't want both vote buying so they have to make sure there's no money anywhere. For people to agree to sell their vote is because you made them poor. You weaponize poverty. That's why you're scared of vote buying. If you made everywhere okay and people are comfortable, you will not be scared people will buy votes. And it takes bulk money to buy votes. It doesn't take people withdrawing their little money from the bank to buy votes. Money has to be so many to buy votes. You know who you are targeting. Why not go to the person and collect the money they kept at home? Why dragging all of us into your fight? You know you are targeting. Why will you drag all of us into your fight? And those who supported him, their eyes are clear now. Many, many of my friends have been retired from, they retired them because they gave their support. And we hear the other part, they are all crying. They say the governors are crying that um, the, the policy is hard on Nigerians. Forget those governors, they are all criminals. The truth is that they are doing for their own selfish gain. That we should obey the, 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 the court. The court has said this. The court has said that Nam the Kano should be released a long time ago. Did, he has not been released. Did they obey the court? The, the, the court? All of a sudden, you are obeying the court. You are talking about court. You that don't obey the court. Both of them are just, they know where they are fighting. They shouldn't drag us into the mess. What I'm saying, I'm saying those of you who are politicians in church, you have learned lesson. Don't plan your political life around a person that is not grateful. He will retire you. Me talking like this, you see, even if you change the policies, Omega Fire Ministries, God has blessed us. No matter the economy, listen, no matter the economy, economy of the forest, the lion cannot eat grass. Use this anger to vote against this wickedness. Are you following what I'm saying? My wife, myself, my children, we are fully obedient. Listen, fully, 100%. Listen, we are not those who make noise on social media. Carry no, we walk at the background. We support. We are fully. If you like, vote something else. Is, see me, I hardly stay in the country. I hardly stay in Nigeria. 
a whole year, I can stay 80 days or 60 days. I'll be going and coming and be looking at you. If you vote, if you go and vote nonsense, you vote insecurity, tribalism, bigotry, ethnicity, if that's what you are going to vote. Are you following me? Listen to me. I'm saying this. You know I don't talk like that. But I'm telling you the truth. My wife is here. Me, I'm here. I'm, I will never. I have friends across the divide. They are there. They are my friends. But most of them are supporting because of what they want to get. They know that they are, who they are supporting is bad. They know. But it's because they want to get. For you to support a man and you have nothing to gain, it shows that you are honest. Because it's about the country. Somebody sent me a message, Apostle, I'm waiting for your candidate to lose so I can call you out. And I told him, I said, well, I'm not a tire. You want to call me out? So what will that do to me? You think me or some of the big men or celebrities who are supporting Peter Obi? You think we are supporting because there is no, we don't have anything to do? We are supporting, listen. We are supporting because of the masses. That's the truth. It, it doesn't reduce. Win or don't win, it doesn't reduce us. We are supporting because of the masses. So we are supporting because of the masses. So whether you win or not, it doesn't change us. There are some of us that can never come down. It's too late. No matter what you do, we can't can come down. I'm not talking politics. You are my people. I should tell you, me, I am voting Peter Obi. Me. My wife, Peter Obi. My pastors, Peter Obi. Those that love me, Peter Obi. tired no money anywhere now you want to continue like this both all of them are part of those that destroy the country the one that has not destroyed the nation is the one who will support this is how I see life all these things I have said now I had it from a madman thank you for sticking with us 